Hemorrhage is one of the primary concerns in the treatment of war casualties. It is the primary cause of preventable death following a wound with a deadly weapon. It frequently occurs. Up to one quarter of the casualties wounded with a deadly weapon will require a blood transfusion if they reach the hospital alive. The mortality of these patients is around 20 to 30 percent. This mortality could be reduced significantly by damage control resuscitation strategy, DCR, centered on the type of transfusion therapy. It combines red blood cell concentrate, RBC with plasma and platelets in proportions similar to those in whole blood. These proportions are one unit of plasma for one or two units of RBC and one platelet unit for every four to six unit of RBC. These goals must be reached as soon as possible because massive bleeding kills quickly. Hemorrhaging casualties survive for only two hours on the average after reaching the hospital. Blood product availability is therefore a key issue. Damage control resuscitation is above all an organizational and logistical challenge. The use of type O RBC means that the product can be used to treat all patients regardless of blood type. Massive transfusion packs, prepared in advance, contain the right proportions of the three blood components. Rapidly available, they make it possible to respect DCR rules and improve the prognosis. To make these packs available quickly, it is essential to have supplies like French lyophilized or pre-thawed plasma on hand. That way, the packs will be available in time. For each minute of delay, in the availability of these packs, there is a 5% increase in mortality. Supplies of platelets are a delicate problem, especially in external operations. All of these difficulties, especially rapid supplies of platelets, can be simplified by the use of whole blood. Military medicine has long gathered and banked whole blood against the arrival of casualties. This strategy requires upstream preparation to screen donors and to type the blood accurately and rapidly. It is based on kits containing a donor screening questionnaire, along with the equipment required to perform serological tests quickly, to type the blood, and to make the donation traceable. A supply of whole blood makes it possible to transfuse a product at an ideal temperature immediately. It takes a team about 45 minutes to one hour to collect a blood donation. Whole blood refrigerated at four degrees Celsius is available much faster. This product is prepared by blood banks according to regulatory safety standards. In the United States, it has again become the gold standard in traumatology. The same thing will soon happen in France thanks to a collaboration between the French National Blood Bank and the Army Health Service. To be immediately available in an emergency, the whole blood must be O-type, so that the red blood cells are universally compatible and low in hemolysis. Decades of historical use of this method and recent data from American centers guarantee the clinical safety of this practice. DCR is a strategy that can be planned in advance. Upon the arrival of casualties at the hospital, supplies of massive transfusion packs must be available. Better yet, Casualties with the most serious hemorrhages can be transfused during their transport. Casualties who are unconscious or who present extremely low blood pressure, a systolic reading below 70. Or those with a systolic blood pressure, reading lower than 90 associated with a heart rate over 110 bit per minute. Making the whole therapeutic arsenal available by using whole blood, for example, is the solution that provides the greatest benefit. If time or logistics makes this impossible, the following solutions should be applied, ranked by order of preference. A combination of plasma and red cell concentrate, beginning with the plasma, cuts mortality by two thirds. Plasma alone cuts mortality in half. Red blood cell concentrate alone cuts mortality by one-third.